Lieutenant General Thomas McInerney, U.S. Air Force retired, said in a no-holds-barred interview that he doesn't believe the courts are likely to come through for President Trump. The general placed the burden squarely on President Trump to use the emergency powers at his disposal and put down what he described as a coup d'etat in progress. So in other words, the courts are either too bought and paid for or they're, in, they're not competent mm -hmm. to fix or, or even to get over their denial. There you go. To fix what's yeah. happening right in front of their eyes. Yeah. He's saying, yeah, we can go to the judiciary and I think Trump is wise in going through proper channels. Mm -hmm. Because if he does apply the heavy hand, which I hope he does, and he's got legal means to do it, he can at least say, I went through the proper channels and they proved themselves incompetent or unwilling to fix right. the problem. Right. Anyway, please. All right, quoting, these are not just fraudulent acts, they are treasonous acts because it means changing the government, close quote, the general said, quoting again. And then when you add Russia, China, and Iran, foreigners into it, you complicate it and make it even more treasonous. So cyber warfare and the Dominion voting systems, which we're talking about in Georgia, Michigan, and several other states, Pennsylvania as well, are using hammer and scorecard ballot manipulation software attacks. Plus, has anyone seen the Justice Department or FBI in any of this? That is very worrisome, close quote. So quit using the word fraud what he's saying mm -hmm. and start using the word treason, treason and start using the, the term cyber warfare and start stop blaming it on the Democrats mm -hmm. completely although they certainly are a use, useful idiots they open no, the door. No, no pun intended but start looking at this through the lens mm -hmm. of Russia China and Iran mm -hmm. now he raises an interesting question here where's the FBI and the DOJ mm -hmm. what do you get from the from AG Attorney General Barr, these sort of anemic statements that, well, there's not enough evidence of fraud to overthrow the election. First of all, that's false on its face. Mm -hmm. I mean, based on what the Trump team has unearthed just this last week, right. there's enough to change the vote in all of those swing states. Right. And beyond that, Barr makes this statement without having done any investigation. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where he is on the subject. I thought he was the legal or the leading law enforcement agent in the whole country. And he is like, uh, what, what do we call him? A, a backbencher. Yeah. He's a non-factor. I'm sorry to interrupt. A, a bench sitter. Bench sitter, yeah. Right? McInerney is not just any retired general making these claims. He is highly decorated, having flown 400 combat missions over Vietnam. He was in charge of NORAD for Alaska and had a top security clearance mm. with responsibility for the U.S. nuclear arsenal. He spent 16 years as a military analyst with Fox News. So he ain't a nobody. Yeah, and we're not reading this off some right-wing... Alex Jones conspiracy theory website. We're mm -hmm. dealing with an American war hero. Yes. And we're dealing with a three-star general. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. A guy that ought to know what he's talking yeah, exactly. about. Exactly. Right? Top security clearance. Wow. McInerney said, that, said the fraud seen on election day could easily be repeated in Georgia to steal the two U.S. Senate seats up for election there on January 5th, giving Democrats full control of the government. Quoting, what startled me was he kept talking about fraudulent votes, and then I heard Rudy Giuliani talking about fraudulent votes. It's not fraudulent votes. The American people must understand we are talking about treason, close quote. So it's don't use fraud anymore. Mm -hmm. Use the word treason. And beyond that, see, you look at the cable shows, let's gin up all the Republicans for the Georgia runoff. He's mm -hmm. saying that won't help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If this isn't fixed now, that won't help you in Georgia because they'll right. cheat again right. using the same system. Exactly. All right, continuing. According to attorney Sidney Powell, speaking in an interview with Lou Dobbs, 
the Dominion Systems machines were set to give Biden a weighted count of 1.25 votes for every one vote he received, while Trump's votes were set at 0.75% of each vote he received. This means that 2.7% of the votes were switched from Trump to Biden in multiple battleground states. So they started off with Biden gets 1.25 votes for every vote cast and Trump gets 0.75% for every vote cast and they thought that would get the deal done. Mm -hmm. And what they discovered is there was such a landslide that's why we think Trump won this in an electoral landslide. Right. There was such a land. There was such a landslide that Trump was uh, circumventing their algorithm, if you want to call mm -hmm. it that, and that's why they had to stop the voting in the middle of the night. Yeah. We've got to do something about this. Well, see, our our one point two five percent to 075 percent isn't working. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Yeah. Well, and the problem. This is the problem when you start using software. Software can be manipulated. Yeah. You can't manipulate paper votes. That's right. Paper ballots, right? So anyway, it's crazy. The retired three-star general was very specific in what he said Trump must do to put down the coup. He must invoke the executive order that Trump signed on September 12, 2018, allowing the president to declare a state of emergency related to foreign intervention in U.S. elections. Quoting, He's got to declare a national emergency. He should also use the Insurrection Act because we have an insurrection right now in this country when you look at Antifa and BLM plus other groups. He must suspend habeas corpus as President Lincoln did in 1861 and Franklin Roosevelt did in 1942 when World War II started, close quote. Now here's what the general is saying. He's saying the president right now has legal, not illegal, mm -hmm. tools at his fingertips to fix these things. Mm -hmm. One of the things he has at his fingertips is an executive order that he himself signed. Now look at the date on this, September 12th, mm -hmm. 2018. Yeah. One day after we commemorate the attack that was done against us on 9-11, and I think he signed it specifically on that day because it allows the president to declare a state of emergency related to foreign intervention in U.S. elections. Just as they came against us physically on 9-11, they're also going to come against us electorally. Mm -hmm. And the president of the United States, whether you like him or dislike him, is one smart person. Mm -hmm. It's almost like he knew this was a problem. He knew what they were going to do. And he put this um, executive order into effect September 12th. The other tool that he has at his disposal is the Insurrection Act. And so McInerney's point is, Mr. President, <laughs> you're the only one that can save us now mm -hmm. in a human sense. Yes, You're the yes. only one that can use these legal tools. Mm -hmm. And now Trump did give a 45-minute speech. I want to say it was yesterday or the day before. Mm -hmm. And I think he kind of intimated that he may go this direction if the courts and the full working out of the process and in so doing the courts prove themselves incompetent or unwilling. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's prepping us for. Yeah. Can, can, please continue. All right. The Chinese military doctrine of warfare includes six stages, the first, fi first five of which are focused on informational warfare tactics. If those asymmetrical tactics should fail, the sixth and final stage involves traditional kinetic warfare. Okay, do people understand that? It's the Chinese and Iran that are involved in this. Mm -hmm. And in there, when you study warfare, there's six stages, the first five of which are simply information operation right. and propaganda. Right, right. And only when those fail do you move into physical warfare. Mm -hmm. In other words, they figured out a long time ago that they don't have to engage in physical warfare right. to make us a client or vassal state. Right. Mm. All right, quoting... It's a printing press operation. That, now, there he's speaking of the fraudulent votes that were manufactured mm -hmm. uh, okay. in swing states. Okay. And yet we have judges that are, so, that are rather challenging that saying, that's not enough. <laughs> Think about that. 
And so that's why it's so important that this national emergency be declared and the president start arresting these people right away. This is a national emergency. I would declare martial law, close quote. Quoting again, this has never happened before. It's unprecedented and shows there was pre-planning across several states to do these treasonous acts. That's why it's not fraudulent voting, it's treason. They are trying to overturn this government, close quote, McInerney said. Quoting again, until this gets cleaned up, until we have all the facts, the president should suspend the Electoral College meeting on the 14th of December and the inauguration on the 20th of January, close quote. The general said that because the courts have shown themselves, quote, unable to figure out what is going on, close quote, the use of military tribunals will be necessary to deal with the, the coup plotters and participants. Quoting, that's why martial law is so important, close quote, he said, quoting again, we need to set up military tribunals because the judiciary has shown us they're not capable of figuring this out. Now, here's what the general is saying. Electoral College, you're not going to meet December the 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, Georgia runoff, you're not going to have your runoff in early January. And we're not going to have an inauguration. Mm -hmm. Until what? Permanently? No. Until this gets fixed. Right. And the current judicial system doesn't have the will or the competence to fix it. So here's what mm -hmm. we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to implement military tribunals to get this situation of legal versus illegal ballots resolved. Mm -hmm. And then, and only then, if Biden wins, then he gets inaugurated. If Trump right. wins, then he gets inaugurated. Right. And if we don't do this, and if this doesn't get cleaned up within the next less than a month, we're Venezuela mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Something to think about, folks. All right, continue. I, th I think this may be, Brother Jim, the most serious pastor's point of view we've ever done. I, without question. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so continuing on, if America doesn't wake up and realize what's happening, it will soon be too late, he said. This is corroborated by people who in earlier decades lived through the socialist revolutions that took over Cuba, Venezuela, China, Germany, Russia, Vietnam, and Cambodia. When asked, quote, how did this happen, close quote, and, quote, did you see it coming, close quote, Almost to a person, people from these countries, yeah. will tell you that, yes, they saw it, and they knew their country was headed in a bad direction. But at the end, confusion reigned as events transpired so fast that the people felt paralyzed and unable to stop the fall of their government. Now, that last sentence that you just read is Powerful. so important. I mean, what was happening in Cuba, Venezuela, China, Germany, Russia, Vietnam, Cambodia on the eve of their revolutions? It's right here. At the end, confusion reigned. Mm -hmm. Does that not describe what's happening Sound right, right now? now. Mm -hmm. As events transpired so fast mm -hmm. that the people felt paralyzed and unable to stop the fall of their government. Close quote. That's why mm -hmm. you, Mr. and Mrs. Patriot, Mr. and Mrs. Constitutionalist, Mr. and Mrs. America, Mr. and Mrs. Deplorable, Mr. and Mrs. Trump voter can't get weak need now. Amen. Because it's now or never. Yeah. If you get weak need now, this will never get fixed. Mm -hmm. And we'll be into the Ad Biden administration. Mm -hmm. And who knows, we might have King Biden the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. God help us. Or we'll have a, like they have in Venezuela, you know, some semblance of an election, but everybody knows it's not a free and fair election. Well, we'll have Queen Kamala, maybe. That's, that's Wouldn't right. that be fun? Some Trump voters are already hanging their heads and posting memes on social media that say essentially, quote, Trump 2024, we'll get them next time, close quote. But what if General McInerney is right? What if there is no next time? I don't want anybody to post 20, Trump in 2024 for this very simple reason. There, do you understand this? There will be no 2024. Right, right. 
it'll be sort of a comical joke. It'll be a, 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 a selection rather than the, an election. If, if you say, well, we'll come back in 2024, you're not going to have a free and fair election in 2024. 2016 will have been the last one. Mm -hmm. And Trump has to fix this now. Mm -hmm. He's got to fix this within the next month. He's got to fix this, I would say, within the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Or this country that we've bequeathed to our children and our grandchildren is gone. Mm -hmm. We are nothing more than a client and vassal state of the New World Order. Yeah. Mm. Well said. If the courts fail to act and Trump fails to act, he said, that the election in Georgia will simply be a repeat of the fraud, allowing the Democrats to take the two Senate seats and total control of the government. Quoting, they're going to win that election in Georgia using hammer and scorecard and the Dominion voting machines, close quote, he said. Quoting again, I heard a prominent Republican say, we really need a large turnout. And he goes on to say, it doesn't matter what your turnout is when they're using cyber warfare. They always beat it by 3%. That's why it's important we suspend even those votes down in Georgia until we clean this up, close quote. Now, they always beat you by 3%, right? Unless the algorithm isn't set high enough. Mm -hmm. Then they've got to stop voting and readjust it because Trump was winning in a landslide. And, and I would just add an addendum to that comment that if they get away with it this time, yeah, exactly. then what do you think is going to happen next time? Exactly. They won't need a 3%. No. They'll completely control the process. Yeah, forget Georgia. Yeah. For, forget the midterms. Forget every election after this point. It has to be fixed today. Right. Can't wait. All right, quoting, but they did have the oath that the president and all the people like myself took to support the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. These are domestic enemies, and they must be treated as such. This is hybrid warfare in the 21st century. This is how it's done. That's how you destabilize. You don't have to, co to have combat troops. You do it through a country's own democratic processes. Like Stalin said, it doesn't matter who votes. It matters who counts the votes. Now remember Chinese warfare, three stages of it? Mm -hmm. The first five are all information operation. Yes. You don't even have to go to physical combat. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, what, that's what's at stake here. Yeah. Mm. With Fox News for years, the only large mainstream news outlet that served a cons uh, conservative audience now flipped to the other side. And we've covered that issue in depth, and we've mm -hmm. explained why that's happened. Yep. The only way Americans can hear the truth is through small, independent news providers. Like Pastor's point of view. That's why we're hey. doing what we're doing. Amen. The FBI and DOJ have been missing in action, as the president himself noted on Sunday. Trump sits in a lonely place, all by himself, in the Valley of Decision. You can email the White House by going to whitehouse.gov forward slash contact. And the president's Twitter handle is at RealDonaldTrump. Let me repeat both of those. whitehouse.gov forward slash contact. And his Twitter handle is at RealDonaldTrump. Quoting, it's important for every American citizen to understand that you are now facing, for the first time, hybrid modern warfare. Not fraud. Where the enemy is unseen, it's stealthy. Be aware, America. Be afraid. Be concerned. Rise up. We cannot let this election, these treasonous acts, this coup d'etat, to stand, close quote. Okay, now let me stop you for a minute. Great point. Um, here is what is at stake. You'll notice the Declaration of Independence. What is the Declaration of Independence, Brother Jim? The, the Declaration of Independence is the birth certificate mm -hmm. of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And when you, you don't have to get far. You just can get into the second paragraph. <laughs> and we have a couple of sentences there. What does it say? Governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. America is built on the idea that those who wield 
power on our behalf are there because we put them there. That's exactly right. China didn't put them there. Iran didn't put them there. Venezuelan machines didn't put them there. We put them there. Mm -hmm. And that is what is being challenged right now. Yes. And if that's challenged, there is no America because this is the premise of America. Yeah. As seen in our own birth certificate, the Declaration of Independence written by Thomas Jefferson in 1776. In fact, when the, the Patriots put their signatures on this, it was almost like they were signing their death warrant. Absolutely. Because if they were caught, they were immediately going to be executed, mm -hmm. hung, etc. And this is what they were standing for. That's right. Now, That's right. <laughs> I'm hearing conservatives saying, well, we'll come back in 2024. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's over. Folks... If you get weak need here, you erase everything that this declaration stands for. Yeah. Because that's what's being challenged. If you can read that second clause. All right, second clause. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new governments. See, if the government circumvents the will of the people, the, our birth certificate says it's the right of the people to mm -hmm. alter or abolish. Yes. Well, guess what, folks? It's time to alter and abolish. Mm -hmm. Because we, the people, our rights are being violated here. Big time. And then much... Not much later, but later in history, in 1863, Abraham Lincoln gave his famous Gettysburg Address in Pennsylvania, November the 19th, mm -hmm. which is a wonderful address, and he reiterated the same concept. What did he say there? That this nation under God... Under who? God. Wow. Yeah, and that's something. I guess we got to get the liquid paper and take <laughs> that out. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. A nation under God, and then he says, of the people, mm -hmm. by the people, for the people, undoubtedly re referencing mm -hmm. our Declaration of Independence, mm -hmm. shall not perish from from the earth. Yep. Folks, you know what's about to happen within the next week or month is it is about to perish from the earth. Why? Because conservatives are just too confused and they're too fatigued and they're too tired and they're too busy with their Christmas shopping mm. to care about this. Mm. And we need mm. to change the way we think. Yeah. And we need to get behind the President of the United States to fix this Amen. using the legal tools that are at his fingertips right. that he could lawfully use. Yes. So, Brother Jim, a lot of people, you know, they ask for action steps. You know, what can we do? Here is a tweet that I put up on Sunday evening. And I sent this over to my friend Brandon House, and it just went viral, you know, on his. He took the language, which I want people to do, and used it on his Twitter feed. You can find this on my Twitter feed. And at the very least, you can tweet something like this. And you can use this exact same language, and I don't want any credit for it at all. I just want the idea out there. Mm -hmm. And this is what I tweeted on Sunday night. Mr. President, after listening to this interview that we're referencing here with uh, McInerney, Mr. President, 80 million of us, because there were they're saying 74 million voted for Trump, it's probably in the neighborhood of 80 million. Mr. President, 80 million of us want you to use the Insurrection Act. Now, Twitter only allows you a certain number of words. If I could add more words, I, I would say the September 12th, 2018 executive order also. But Mr. President, 80 million of us want you to use the Insurrection Act to suspend the January, uh, January Senate runoff and the December meeting of the Electoral College, so military tribunals can first be set up to properly investigate and resolve the cyber warfare in the, uh, uh, the cyber warfare November 3rd, 2020 election issue. Mm -hmm. And I wrote that and I put it on my Twitter feed 
I sent it to my friend Brandon House as he was on TV with the general. Brandon actually read this on the air and asked the general, what did he think about this? And the general said, I, as you can go back and watch the video. He says, I love it. <laughs> and not only did I do that, and by the way, you'll notice I put at real mm -hmm. Donald Trump there. Mm -hmm. You need to put that on there to make sure the president at least can see it. Mm -hmm. Not only did I do that, and these are simple things I did from my couch within a minute. Yeah. I mean, if our forebears can shed their blood mm -hmm. to give us the freedom that we have, I can take five minutes away from my dessert schedule, can I? To put a couple of things on social media yes. and email. I also sent this exact language to the White House. And you can find the White House email address. You read it a second mm -hmm. ago. And you got to pay attention to it because there's a, a backslash here. It's whitehouse.gov backslash contact. And it will take you no more than a minute to get that filled out and to send this language to the President of the United States because the President of the United States needs to understand that we, the people, if he decides to do this, and he's the only one that can fix this through this legal tools, we, the people, are going to stand behind him. Amen. We're not going to be propagandized by the left. Right. We're going to stand behind the President of the United States for the simple reason that it's now or never. Amen. All right. So what else can we do, Brother Jim? You mind reading that last paragraph? And feel free to comment as I'm speaking. I'm almost starting to preach here and I'm trying to restrain myself. I don't know. What you, <laughs> you, you, when you made that comment about dessert, you looked at me and I kind of <laughs> felt like, well, why'd you look at me? I, I mean, you know. Well, anyway, finishing up, up the article here. Because you're a fellow traveler. Uh, yes, uh, like my desserts. <laughs> the following additional action items should be considered to fight back against the attempted takeover of America each of which involves things you can do through your own spending decisions to hit back at those who seek to oppress and silence we the people while supporting the fundamental transformation of America into a socialist society. See, the question everybody has when you talk like this is, what can we do? What can we do? Yeah. Well, I've just given you two things to do. Put this language and massage it if you don't like it. But get the idea across. Put that on your own Twitter feed and send an email to the White House. Mm -hmm. What else can we do? He, I like how this Leo Homan blog article ends with, it looks like, what, seven or eight mm -hmm. action steps. Number one, what is number one? All say? right, he says, do, do no business with Wall Street corporations. They donate huge sums of money to globalist candidates and threaten conservative employees with disciplinary action if they speak out on important political issues. Next point. Shop only at mom-and-pop outlet and family businesses. Let's support them. Next point. Cut the cable television connection to Fox and CNN. Oh, my. Next. Devise a plan to leave Facebook and Twitter by the end of this year, shifting your social media presence to Parler, that's spelled P-A-R-L-E-R, -E Gab, and MeWe. Big tech is waging asymmetrical warfare against free America, and we are either all in or we are part of the problem. We must use the tactics and strategy that is available to us. Next point. Stop all sub subscriptions to the Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, your local newspaper, and yes, even Drudge. We have conservative alternatives to drudge now in the form of whatfinger.com, whatfinger.com, and worldviewreport.com. That's worldviewreport.com. Next point. Attend Stop the Steal rallies in your state capitals and other pro-Trump rallies. They just had a big one in Georgia, I think. Mm -hmm, they did. The power of the street is always underestimated by people on the right. The left knows that, quote, optics, close quote, carry a powerful psychological weapon in the war of ideas. We need boots on the ground. It's time to choose a side. Now, that's why Barack Obama was a community organizer. Exactly. Because of this right here. Exactly. And you know, I'm not much of a uh, protest picketer type, but I think conservatives are getting more used to it because at Donald Trump's rallies, there were upwards of tens of thousands oh, yeah. of people. Yeah. It looked to me in some cases like maybe fifty to 100,000 people. Yeah, that's right. And 
Anyway. Of course, it doesn't get reported. No. Uh, next point, ditch your Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, or T-Mobile account and replace it with Patriot Mobile at patriotmobile.com. That's patriotmobile.com, a cellular wireless service run by patriotic Christian conservatives. And the last bullet point, with a strong presence on the ground in D.C. and state capitals, uh, mated with a strong national boycott of the leftist corporate money machines, we can put the left in a uh, python-like stranglehold. And he says, we need to engage at this level. Get in the game. If not now, when? If not us, who? If not now, when? If not us, who? I mean, this is literally a now or never right. moment. Mm -hmm. Of course, to this, I would add... Obviously, intercessory prayer. Absolutely. Which is what First Timothy 2, 1 through 4 calls us to do. Right. I'll share a couple of media mm -hmm. outlets that my family has found instructive outside of the propaganda that we're now getting from CNN and, and Fox, even though there's some shows on Fox that I still enjoy. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the regular news shows, they've got, they keep talking about President-elect Biden. Mm-hmm which is an information operation designed to weaken really our uh, animosity, as, as, as uh, our resistance, I should say, yeah. as to what is going on. Yeah. But my wife in particular enjoys the Dan Bongino show. Uh, Bongino is B-O-N-G-I-N-O, -N -N Bongino. I, for one, enjoy the Mark uh, Levin mm -hmm. show and mm -hmm. all of his different platforms. Mm -hmm. um, my friend Brandon House, um, Worldview Weekend, you can get his stuff, uh, his regular stuff there. And of course, you know, Pastor's Point of View. Yes. Um, you know, we consider ourselves as part of this kind of rebellious group trying to educate people on what's actually happening. Um, my friend uh, David Fiorazzo has a show called Stand Up for the Truth. I've been interviewed by him a few times on that. You know, you can get good information there. And once you start getting on some, it's like eating right, you know. Right. Back, so back, back, back to, to the, the food this, thing, huh? Food. It's like eating right. You know, you start eating right, you start feeling better. And as long as you're sitting there in front of CNN and Fox and MSNBC, you're, not, you're on a malnourished diet mm -hmm. and you need to start taking in some healthy nutrients That's true. in this area of information. Now we all as Christians understand that in the area of Bible doctrine. Yes. Uh, but let's let's start applying that in the area of proper news analysis. Right. Stop believing everything you're told just because it's coming from someone on television. Mm -hmm. So those are some action items that we can do. Would you add anything else to that list? I've been watching Newsmax lately. And Newsmax, they're, yeah. They're pretty good too. Yeah, tell, how, what, tell people how to find that. Well, if you have cable, you'll have to go find out where it is. In the, If you're in Comcast or Xfinity area, at least where we live here, it's, uh, I think it's 1,115 is the channel. Yeah. But you'll just have to look on your uh, listing of channels. It'll just look for news.